killing it. Fuck. Whoo! Ah. Ah. Hello, 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 hello. How is we? Hi, the fire sage. Hi. How are you? Bro, I don't know why. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was you, Weedy. Thank you for saying that. Hi, Wind. How are we? I told you guys. I'm a man of my word. All right? I told you. 8.30. I'm fifth. Oh, fuck. I'm 13 minutes early. And Weedy, I appreciate that. And Weedy, I appreciate that. Why not just have one name for everything, though? You know? Yeah. Oh my god, you guys have no idea how comfortable I am. Bro, this is the thing. I work a double tomorrow, so I'll literally I'll literally be at work slave hours. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. How is that even legal? How is that actually legal? I don't know. How oh wait, I can't hear you. Wait, say something? Hello? There it is. Okay. Exactly. I'm trying to break the stereotypes. Exactly. They call it CPT no more. Also, Kylan is here. Say hello to the people, Kylan. Hello. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm here. I fucking broke. Ah, you guys can hear him, right? More money, at least. I guess. <clears throat> yeah, of course. You know, first world problems. We're making Where my flags at? Do y'all fucking know? Bro, fuck you. Why are you doing this to me? Stop disrespecting. It's tradition, bro. This is how you build culture. No, it's I don't want that culture where we're just roasting gay people. I don't want that culture. It's not gay people. It's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Another day, another stream, exactly. Damn, if you're not down to mind, you're doing fine. Kamal hates black culture. Some of it. You know what? I told you guys after this video, it's the black culture video. That video is going to be very interesting. It's going to be it's gonna be a tough one to make. Like this one's been tough to make. You know, I got a face... Face how I really feel about things. Answer questions I haven't asked myself. It's going to be interesting. Culture war it is. Uh, I guess. I guess we'll see. Um, I say we wait a little bit. It's funny. Every time I check the viewers, it's always at 19. Every time I check for the first time, it's very weird. Them on. The, also, uh, please. Oh, yeah, share my screen. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead and do that. Where is it? Here we go. How's everybody doing today? JR, dude, that kid was talking about. How was it, Weedy? Oh, uh, it was an ass. Oh, wow. Weedy really put in the work. He said he watched him. He was in there yesterday, too. The new... What's FF? Final Fantasy. Mm. How is it? Get hip, bro. I'm not hip. It's part of my brand. <laughs> you and Candace. <laughs> <laughs> 
got two peas in a pod. Me and Candace. Justin, it's literally in the name. It's really good. Okay, okay. It's weird. I haven't really heard much about this, but maybe it's just because I'm not in the know. It's good. You played it, Kyron? I played the first one. First part. I haven't oh, gotten the second the, part the yet. Remake. Yeah. And it was good. Would you think I would like it based off of my gamer knowledge? Or the knowledge um, you have of me being a gamer? I think it's worth you trying it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 What's the plan today? Okay, Jay. So we're going to look into this Elon Musk, uh, Don Lemon interview. We're going to watch that for a bit. And we'll, we'll hopefully watch the whole thing. And then... Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. And then we're going to watch the most gangster female in Chicago by our friend Tommy G. I think that'll be interesting. We got Isaiah coming on the stream Thursday. I have a video planned for him that's going to be absolutely hilarious for him for his uh, natural reaction. What games do I play? Um, I like like kind of what are the types of games I like where it's like. Uh, just look Ring. up a top ten list on IGN. <laughs> and you know. Bro, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. That's accurate Good. though. But fuck you. <laughs> Elden Ring. I like that game. Love that game. God of War. The new ones. Love those. Uh, Skyrim's my shit. Yeah, pretty really, much RPGs. Risk- yeah, I like RPGs. I like adventure RPGs. Is that what they're called? That's why I'm very excited for um, was it Dragon's Dogma Two? Yeah, action adventure RPGs. That's my shit. More Not like the J Elring. stuff. Ring. Okay, dude. Yeah, yeah. We keep it American, but I'm racist. No ethnics. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like my video games, what? Um I'm kidding. Oh yeah, Witcher 3 is one of my is probably my favorite game of all time. I'm only 30% kidding when I say he's basic. Bro, fuck you. The fact that I beat Elden Ring proves that I'm a real ass gamer. I don't care what anybody says. Here. Jason, what up? You can disrespect me all you want, but I'm a true gamer, bro. You didn't beat it. You were too pussy. You played it. Oh, it's too hard. It's too hard. I fucking dominated that shit from beginning to end. First of all, I don't like any of those games because I'm not a fucking loser like you. Lame ass shit. The tarnished. The souls of the dead. All that wizardry shit. You know I don't like that bullshit. Wizardry is cool, first off. Listen to you. Wizardry is cool. <laughs> it is cool, bro. Casting spells and shit. You wish you could cast a spell. You can't cast shit. Bibbidi bobbidi dick is in my ass. <laughs> whoa, Shut the fuck up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> LGBTQ Shit's community. Gay. That was him, not me. That was him, not me. Fantastic nah, game. A good game. I think it deserved all its accolades. Wow. Let's be real. Thank you. Armor Core. Uh, I did play Armor Core. I didn't beat it though. I just thought it was kind of boring. Cause it's a little bit repetitive. But shout out to um. I'm not even gonna lie. It was just too hard for me. I had to move on. The only thing I will say for is from Soft. I wish they focus a bit more on story. I think if they focused on story like the um. God of War people did. I think they would make literally like perfect games. Anybody know about that Ronin game? It's kind of got that vibe. Flame. Out soon. Is that an eye? I can't see. My eyes don't work. Does that say built gun? Never never heard of it. Hey, yo, never heard of it. Bro, cop, don't do me like that. You see what you're doing? Yeah, you have to explore for the story with FromSoft. You got to Really look for it. Immerse yourself. I'm not doing that. Then you're not a real gamer. But I'm a real you're gamer. You're just a fraud. I beat, I beat the game. I'm a real gamer. It's just a front. You didn't beat it. You don't even know the story. 
I be I know the story. The story is like I know the basics of the story, but I need like characters I can really connect with. You know, I need to shed a tear possibly. If I was forty two percent less pussy, I need to shed a tear. I'm not shedding a tear from the story from any from software game that I know of. Wow. Because I don't guy. I don't know what's going on. He's fake. I need to cry. <clears throat> If I was 42% less pussy, I, I mean 40% more pussy. Because obviously I'm a fucking Sigma and I would never cry tears from a from fucking animations, but I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a precise number, you gotta know your numbers. Welcome to the Don Lemon Show. I can't everyone. hear or see this. Why not? It says paused. Oh, this guy. All right, let's figure out what's going on. It do say that. Hmm. What about now? Can you hear it? Are you playing it? Yeah. Okay, well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that means it said it's showing it up on the thing. It's showing it, but it's not playing. All right, what about now? Welcome to the Don Lemon Show, everyone. We're no. still here. Ah, yeah. All right. I'm just going to... This is Bullocks. I'm going to disconnect and connect again. We back. Okay, what about this one? It's like, he's giving me like four options, and I don't know why. Uh, All right, what about now? In a minute, no. I'm going to bring you my conversation with it's Elon like, Musk. The one that... Still now? Yeah, it's like it grays out. It's weird. The fuck? Shit pissing me off. Got some copyright bullshit on this? Bro. <clears throat> Can you hear it at least? I know. What the fuck? Everyone is talking about. But first, let me tell you Bro, a bit about YouTube. the show. YouTube. Contrary to what you might have heard, Crazy, we weren't bro. canceled by X. Crazy. Yes, after months of begging me, wooing me to offer some exclusive content on his Any platform, suggestions, Elon people? Musk decided well, to scrap the deal. Anything. But our plan is, and always has been, Damn. to release this show everywhere. On YouTube, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio. Just about any place you stream content. Now for my conversation with Elon. As with all my yeah, interviews, well, no restrictions, that. no ground rules, well, no off limits, or out of bounds. Right, well, that's fine. That is until the interview ended. So what went wrong? Um, wait. I don't know. But my hope is that you learned something about both Elon it's like and going up two and people down. who come from completely... Mm. Well, now I see it. You do? Stop moving. Yeah, just leave it alone. Well, I got a fucking... What the fuck? There you go. ...different vantage points. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm every good. Single issue. Yeah. And I challenge you, Elon, to watch the whole interview. And tell the world, Why do you sound just like Don Lemon? <laughs> You're so funny. World, why this isn't what you claim you want on X. I don't. I'm way cooler than Don Lemon, dude. Thank you for inviting us Look here. Look at his glasses. They were at Tesla headquarters. I, it's, I'm surprised at how big it is. I've never seen it. Don Lemon yeah, it's is about gay. three times the size of the this Pentagon. Yeah. Game. And we built it in 16 months. It's, it's the know. fastest construction project in the United States since uh, World War II. Damn. So I'm here, you know, as you know, I'm on the platform because you are... You say you're a free speech absolutist, right, man? Does he have the AIDS? Come on, man. <laughs> I didn't ask it. Michael. It's Michael. <laughs> it is true that for a black man, he's not aging absolutist. well. Also, I don't know how old he is. How old is Don Lemon? Let's look it up. Because he does look terrible. Don Lemon age. And height. God damn, he's almost 60. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. He's 58. That's fine. That's, it, he, it's not great. This is like slightly below average for a black person who's 58. That's right, man. No you know, he has a lot of stress, you know, fast paced lifestyle. He probably did some cocaines. Uh, yeah, some of them. Uh, free speech is uh, one or two. As, as much as possible within the bounds of the law. Yeah. So uh, the reason I'm saying that is because there are no conditions on this interview. You said that, you know, we'll speak to you for an hour. I don't like sound bites, so I welcome that. So let's get yeah. into it. So we're here in Austin, get South by it. Southwest. Uh, Does is anybody going like the Tesla headquarters? Musk? You are in anybody the in here a musketeer? Anybody? He's got shooters. I tell you that. I know that. 
No. Nah. Good. I, I like that's you guys. That's a good thing for me. You said I like cologne. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Because it's must. Processor. Oh, got it. The moving SpaceX here. You call yourself seen? a comic? No. Uh, so, uh, SpaceX has a, a massive uh, facility in South Texas where Damn, we build and setup. launch Starship. And then we, we have um, in Bastrop near uh, Austin, we uh, are about to start production at a, a Starlink, uh, a large Starlink factory for Starlink terminals. Mm -hmm. but, it's, uh, but, but we're not shutting down any facilities in California. Um, listen, we are here as part of a launch of a news interview show that is going to be on X.com. Uh, it's coming as a media industry, as you know, is going through a whole lot of changes. Yeah. X has also been affected by that. Shit. Where do you see X.com's role in the future of news and journalism? How many of you actually call it X? Nobody does. I want to know. Please call it Twitter. If you call it X, put an X in the chat. If you don't, put an L. Nobody's putting an X. Well, I, I think the, I see the, the X as uh, it, it's, it's really the number one source of news uh, in the world. So it is number one. Yeah. Uh, Question. The number one way that people is Elon Musk a supervillain? He owns the news. He owns the cars. He owns the satellites. He owns the fucking computers that go into your brain. It's weird. It's weird. Well, actually, are informed about any kind of news, meaning real time events, is. <laughs> Uh, on the X platform, formerly Twitter, um, there's there's nothing even close for real. See, it's the news. fact that you always so, have to say X, formerly Twitter. <laughs> Just it's say stupid. Twitter, bro. Take Everybody the like publicly has to say formerly Twitter. That's stupid. I don't know why. He Just changed call it Twitter. I don't know why he changed it. Um, because he's a. We also want to expand upon that, um, and we we have done so with uh, long form content. So instead of just doing what you call tweets, you can now do long form posts. You can post an entire essay. In fact, you can now uh, put an entire book, post an entire book to the platform. Um, you can do long form Genius. video content. Uh, so you can do uh, up to four hour video segments. Um, we really want piracy. news in whatever form it is, or information, I should say, in whatever form it is to be available on our platform, whether it's <laughs> short, long, text, pictures, video, whatever the case may be. Yeah, and some of the stuff that we do, long form video, interview shows, what, what have you. Yeah. You, um, you reached out over the summer and you said, it would be great to have Matto, Don Lemon, others on the left put on this uh, platform. You'll receive full support. The Digital Town Square is for all. What do you mean by that? I just mean that uh, we want to make sure that there are a wide variety of viewpoints, that it's uh, you know, we always have, for example, Tuck Carlson, who uh, most people will view as being on the right, um, and uh, yeah, that's that's a quite a quite a prominent uh, name on the right. We want to have uh, prominent names on the left as well uh, to provide uh, different views of points of view, uh, as well as centrists. Just basically a wide range of, of viewpoints on the platform, so users can uh, hear different opinions. Uh, you know, they can he hear, you know, what is what's your point of view, what's Tucker's point of view, and make the and you know, and people can make their own decision about what, what they what they believe. You didn't mean that I'm on the left? Did you think that? I thought you were on the left, but yeah. I don't know. I'm used to, yeah. well, let's just say, I don't know. What Do your research, right Ellen. You work for fucking CNN, dude. Come on. Of course you're on the fucking left. Don't play that coy bullshit. <clears throat> like, oh, yeah, I know I'm on Fox News every day, but I'm not a Republican. It's like, all right, bro, what the fuck are we doing here? Shut the fuck well, up. Well, I'm going to leave that comment to myself. Okay. <laughs> I just, frankly, these days, because things can be quite polarized. But you seem, my impression was that you're, 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 you're be more likely to be described as on the left than the right. Uh, my, my sense is you're sort of center left. I don't know, you tell me. Well, did you ever watch me on CNN or did you watch I saw, se I saw se se yeah. Se I, yeah, not, I, I saw segments. Yeah. But CNN is generally considered left. Yeah. Why do you say that? Oh my God! Suck a dick, dude. Come on. What are we doing? Hey, hey, hey. What, what do I say? CNN is generally considered left. Uh, I think if if you look at any sort of media survey of what is on the left or right, I think they would say, like, for example, Fox is on the right and CNN is on the left. Yeah. 
So that's what is it? Am I missing something here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you missing something? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think that when, you, when, when I read that, I said, like many uh, of my critics or detractors, they never really watched me on CNN. They just saw the clips of me either on social media or maybe on Fox News or on conservative media, yeah. where it's sort of a where I've become a character or a caricature of what I actually am and it's taken out of context. Uh, sure. So are you saying you're not left-leaning? Well, how would you describe yourself? Um, I would describe myself as someone who is, I, I, I am independent in my thinking okay. and I vote for people based on the mm -hmm. issues and how I feel about it, not necessarily because uh, of uh, political leaning of some sort. Well, I agree with that approach. I think that's generally how, yeah. how people- like, When's the last time you voted Repub? People should, uh, you know, take things, which is, I mean, there's, there's, there are a whole sort of set of <laughs> issues. Oh my God. Cock, you fucking better be black. You fucking better be black talking like that. <laughs> which is sort of somewhat arbitrarily. You're talking crazy. Right to left. <laughs> if you're uh, not. I think most people. I was going to ignore it. Sort of <laughs> even if you are. Happens, uh, would think that uh, they, they would agree with some things on the left, but not everything. Or agree on some things on the right, but not everything. Um, so uh, that's, that's what... Um, I think most people will feel, I guess. How much longer, and maybe, maybe the answer is forever, how much longer are we going to have to call it the formerly known as Twitter? I mean, even Prince went back See? to Prince instead of, is it always going to be X? It's definitely always going to be X. So Ooh. X is going to do some changes. Ugh, God. So can, is it? Eastman said, I used a pass at school. It no, lot? it's fucking not. He's only got four more left. It, he rips them up and throws them away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It, you're in charge of an incredible platform, Elon. Uh, How do you feel that's You're talking crazy. Going. I think it's going pretty well so far. Um, we're seeing record usage. Um, we've added a tremendous amount of functionality. I mentioned the... Uh, Nigga, it's mostly yeah, the, bots. You know, it used to be that you could only do short so? you know, text. And yes, figure, I know so. Picture or something like that, short video. Um, but now you can do long form text, long form video. Uh, we've wow. added audio video calling. Uh, so you can not, not just do text DMs, you can do audio video calling. Um, we've improved the algorithm, I think, significantly. But does he still um, own the Twitter uh, name and all that? Uh, sure. Like, can I, can I like take that from him? Like, hey, you clearly don't want Twitter anymore. Just give it to me. Just, I don't want to buy it. You don't want it. Gives. Just give it to me. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Made oh, the system okay. faster and better and best reflected in the increased uh, usage. So let's talk about that because you said you wanted all points of view, right? It's, it's a digital town square for all. Yeah. It's the, the, the platform has kind of picked up where conservative media, some conservative media has left off, um, that moving to the right, increasingly becoming part of a conservative dialogue, sometimes even conspiracy theories, right? There was an article recently written about you saying that you, Donald Trump and X were the most important um, people uh, or places or whatever icons when it comes to the MAGA movement. Do you agree with that? How do you feel about that? Uh, well, I mean, there are nonsense articles written all the time, and I certainly wouldn't agree with that one. I put it in the nonsense category. So uh, the, 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 the objective fact of the matter, in my opinion, was that, um, that old Twitter was a, a fundamentally a, a tool of the, the I think it was out of spite. And that was, uh, mm -hmm. really, he didn't I expect to have to follow through with that deal. So now Francisco he's... Berkeley. Um, Throwing a little yeah, money so, tantrum. Uh, it wanted to essentially project the SF Berkeley uh, political dogma worldwide. Do um, you think it was far left? Yes, I do. I, I used to get, I actually got <laughs> off the platform because I would get so much hate tweets when it, it was called in, so much hate tweets and, and just guff from right wing conspiracy theorists being called everything. Yeah, what do we from, call it now? It's know, no longer tweets. Do we say posts? Sure. Are we that basic now? <laughs> Bro, don't ask me. Ask Elon. Do I, do I send you an X? Ugh, I don't like that sound. An X text? An X text is crazy. It's, it's the internet, <laughs> you know. The people will do. I mean, I've been called every an name. X M. A thousand. Yeah. Do you, Come on, Bear Man. You know I don't call Twitter X. I don't you even agree use that it's Twitter. It's right now, and that even no. it's moved into sort of Magalang no, conspiracy I don't, theory. I certainly don't think it's right. Um, the. The old school Twitter uh, sus sus suspended and suppressed uh, accounts that you'd call on the right, 10 times more than they did an account on the left. And even when they did suspend an account on the left, uh, it was because of arguments between two people on the left. Uh, the political donations of old Twitter were 99% Democrat. Does that sound 
Left, red left ring or right wing to you? The Twitter donations? Yes. You yeah. know when they look at donations by, from a company? If a company donates nine, literally 99% of all donations are to Democrats, does that strike you as a left-leaning or a right-leaning Oh, you company? mean the company donated. I understand what you're and saying. What I'm trying to tell you is that uh, Twitter employees... Bitch, don't act like you didn't know what the fuck he was saying. Please, people at Twitter, their political donations <laughs> ha were 99%, literally 99%... Hey, man, your aggro is showing. Uh, ...to Democrats. Oh, what? That's obviously an extremely <laughs> left-leaning group. My question, too, leading into this is about MAGA. You, and speaking of MAGA, you recently met with Donald Trump in Florida. What did you guys talk about? Uh, we talked about you, Don. We talked about you and only you. I was at a dinner. I, I was not done. I was at a breakfast at a friend's place, and Donald Trump came by. That's it. You don't have friends. Stop so you it. did. That's true. He doesn't have friends. Didn't go there to meet him. I didn't see I, nobody no, I went to a, about a, it. Uh, a friend of mine's house, uh, and it said, it said Donald Trump's coming by for breakfast. Is that uh, just so you know? Like, okay, fine. What'd you discuss? I've, I I don't. <laughs> Um, let's just say uh, he did most of the talking. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> what did he, the, the, the normal things he his says. His laugh does nothing, not match the rest ground, of the ground, ground, groundbreaking Pro. review. But uh, it's got an Obama he, ass laugh. You know, <laughs> uh, he's a villain. President Trump likes to talk. Yeah, he's so got it. He talked. I, I, I don't recall him saying anything that he hasn't said publicly. Uh, and that was it. It was just a breakfast. Did he ask you for money? He didn't. Did he ask you for a donation? No. He didn't? No. no, he didn't ask me for money, but he did ask me for a donation. What kind of fucking question is that? You said you're not going to donate to any candidate. That's correct. Why not? I think... Uh... Can you donate to me? I have a new startup. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll voice my opinion. Um, <clears throat> I think... I'm uh, calling it I don't Twitter. Wanna, I don't want to put uh, a thumb on the scale monetarily. Uh, that yep. uh, is <laughs> Twitter you know, significant. Are you going to loan him money to help pay his bills? No, not at all. Pay his legal bills. I'm not. I'm not paying paying his legal bills in any way, shape, or form. And he did not ask you for money. And he did not ask me for money. Are you going to? So you're not going to endorse a candidate. I may, in the final stretch, endorse a candidate, uh, but I don't know yet. Uh, I want to make a considered decision uh, before the election. Uh, and if I do decide to endorse a candidate, then I will explain exactly why. Are you leaning yeah. towards anyone? No. You're not leaning towards anyone. Because you've been- I'm I'm leaning, leaning away from Biden. You're leaning away? <laughs> <laughs> I've made no secret of that. Are you concerned about losing your security clearance if Biden is reelected? Does that have anything to do with it? No. You are leaning away from Biden, but you're not going to endorse anyone. It seems like an endorsement of President Trump because there are only two people who are running now. Nikki Haley is out. I mean, a lot could happen between out. now and the election. So yeah. we'll see. <coughs> He's going to run. Are uh, oh, all the choices <laughs> for president. Um, oh, yeah. And at that point, I may or may Man, not endorse true, uh, one of the candidates. If I do, I will provide a very... Uh, Detailed explanation of why right, I'm doing so one or the other. At that point, you. might you see the topics? I, mm. uh, I, I think it's unlikely. Let's see. New Tesla. Rolls I don't care. Relaxation in video. I said relaxation. Relaxation <laughs> video game. <laughs> tweeting and drug use. Look, they've said tweeting. The Great Replacement <laughs> Theory. Content moderation. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. E E N I. Trans rights and the woke mind virus. Hmm. So you have been posting up a storm, oh, interesting. as you always oh. do in the past couple of weeks, about the redesign of the Tesla uh, yep. roasters yeah, coming at the end of this year. Are there any kind of updates that you can talk about that uh, to expect from your flagship we don't care. EV? I mean, Tesla stock is down in the last six months. What's next crazy. for the company? You know, the stocks go up and down, but what really matters is are we making and delivering? We don't care. Let's talk now about um, SpaceX, Tesla. You got a lot of lawsuits. You've got X.com. You got a lot going on. How do you relax? Well, um, I, I relax. I spend time with my kids, my friends, and no, you don't. I your kids you know, hate you. Make somewhat of a nerd <laughs> technologist. Up, I, I like playing video games, so. Uh, I'll play video games with, with, with friends online. Which one? 
Or lately, I've been playing Diablo, <laughs> um, and um, but I played almost all the games over the years. Uh, a long time ago, I was like semi-pro good at Quake. This is really dating me uh, because we're talking about. There you go. Like, Legs. One twenty-five years ago. <laughs> I don't know video games. I just know that my uh, my great nephew. Why did you ask? Fortnite and some other stuff. He's always yeah. with the headphones and and doing the thing. So that helps you relax, right? So if you, yeah. This is, and, you, it's, and the nice thing is, if you've, got, if you've got friends in different cities and they're playing the same game, you can both go online at the same time and uh, play the game together, even though you're in different cities. Listen, I'm not asking you anything. That's that called the else internet. Asked you about. Um, your controversial stuff that you tweet. You post a lot of controversial stuff. Is that considered blowing off steam? How do you guys feel about these questions so far? I feel like they're kind of ass. Just want to know them, man. Daniel, I'm fine. Um, if it makes it better, it makes it better. But I got a two-drink limit. Well, I, I guess I do en enjoy using the platform. I mean, I do call um, the X platform the the PvP or player versus player uh, platform. Um, so in video games, there's uh, oh, he's player so versus tech like, savvy. We'll get it. Um, where you're not playing against other people. Um, and then there's PvP, which is like hardcore. You're actually playing against other people. And uh, so, But that's blowing off steam for you. My God, any of you sucks. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is to some degree. Not always. I mean, I've I'm going to give it another couple of minutes. Actually, we'll move on. I don't give a fuck about Hey, Elon. see me in tech in Elon. The great replacement theory, let's get into this. And then we're gonna go into the hood shakes in Chicago. Can we talk about the great replacement theory now? Um, some of the things that you post, the great replacement theory, you claim that Democrats, this President Biden's immigration plan to open up the border. You said that they're, the president is getting and Democrats are doing it. Didn't Don Lemon get fired from CNN or did I just make that up? To get more votes. That's why um, he has his own show. But undocumented sure. immigrants cannot vote in federal elections, so how is that possible? Right. Um, well, you can I think he got some good money out of that situation. Mm. That's great replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here. Uh, if uh, legal immigrants wish, I think. Ben, you lying. You can have a. He was SA. bias to list everything I've read. Hitting it's the song. Vote Democrat. Um, the the more more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is. In my view, uh, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters, to Democrat voters, um, and yeah. So, the so question is like how? So, there's there's a few there's a, a few ways that this works. Uh, One is that uh, when the census is done, uh, the census is based on all all people in an area, whether they are citizens citizens or not. So, uh, if there are a concentration of uh, People who came here illegally in in a in a particular state or uh, in a particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of house seats. So the the house seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the the the, the illegals uh, overwhelmingly go to places like California, and New York. Um, I will give Don the, his credit here. If you just look at the, look at the map, he's doing a great if, job if you look of letting them talk. With and without mm -hmm. illegals, I think that's I good. California would lose. I believe. I believe the blue state there would be a it's net just unfortunate loss. He's of not blue talking states, good approximately shit. Approximately twenty seats in the house. Uh, this also applies to the the electoral college. So you say, like, well, this also applies to, to electing the president, because the, the the same the electoral votes are also done by by apportionment the same way that house seats are done. But exactly. the reason Elon the electoral college is in place is to to balance that is so that that doesn't happen. So what you're saying about it is the exact opposite of the reason no. why the, the Electoral College is there. The Electoral College at this point, it, at this point in, in our history, gives people who are in smaller states and red states much more of an influence over our elections than people who are in blue states. Hey the guys, don't forget to like the stream. Feel free, free to like donate. We always love a donation. Of what you're saying. It protects people who are in smaller states and protects people who are in red states. Well, um, who, the red states I, because I, they I, tend I, to I, be I smaller think, and, and I less. I don't see how that deters him from what he was saying, though, right? He's like, the more people you have, the more. 
you know, seats and shit you're gonna have. So I don't see how that. It's popular. I think that that's that's that statement is. The is, gates uh, with Elon was saying. What, what you said is, is true, but what I said is also true. I am OTS, uh, which is so that uh, if. And, and I'm not listening. Case, a disproportionate number of legal immigrants go, go to uh, blue states. They amplify the effect of a, of a blue state I've vote. I've got that TikTok. The math, as I understand it, span. you can research this obviously very easily on there. It's, it's like, it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to research this. But my understanding is that there would be, uh, that, that the, the Democrats would lose approximately Congrats, 20 Evan. seats in the House uh, if illegals were not counted in the census. And that's also 20 less electoral yeah, votes shit, for president. So the legals absolutely do thing. affect the, the uh, who controls uh, the House of Car the House like and who Nazi controls uh, the so. presidency. It does not affect uh, the Senate. Yeah. In blue states, you're talking about. It's going to a good I don't place. That your information on on uh, uh, that is right. Um, Unlike so Don listen, Lemon's fucking boring ass, bro. Ask some good questions. Hey man, hey man, we can move on. We'll, we'll try you ain't got to put yourself through this. We'll try the DEI and then the woke mob. We'll give like two minutes in each. And if they both are ass, we'll move on. Hey, so listen, let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion. All right. That's been a target yeah, of yours lately on X. You, uh, on, there was a repost of Ben Shapiro that you claim that DEI is killing people specifically. Lorraine, you trying to get a job? Medicine. You claim that DEI programs are putting people at risk. Do you really believe this to be true? And what evidence do you have to support it? Uh, what I was referring to there was that if uh, if we lower the standards for doctors, uh, such so that they, you know, get, if if the test for a doctor is lowered, uh, that, then the probability of them making a mistake and killing someone is obviously going to be higher. Wait, say that again. I'm not sure I understand what you said. I'm How the fuck do you not understand what he said? That's pretty clear. I'm fucking drunk and I understood what he said. I'm drunk listening with one headphone in. You're fucking two feet away from the man. This is a big moment for you, and you don't understand? How is this possible? I don't understand. I want to make sure I understand. What, what did he say? Saying. Yes. If, if He said if you lower the tests, like what, what people need to get on a test, then the probability of a doctor fucking up and killing someone is going to be higher. If, if you used to have to get an 85 to become a doctor, I know it's not this simple, but now you only have to get a 75, we're going to have more stupid-ass doctors, and those stupid-ass doctors are more likely to kill somebody. Even I get it, and I'm two drinks in. What are we doing? If the, if the standards for passing medical exams and becoming a doctor, or, or especially something like a surgeon, if the standards are lowered, uh, uh, then probably right. the probability that the surgeon will make a mistake is higher. They're making mistakes in their exam. <laughs> they, they may make mistakes with people, and that may result in people dying. What evidence do you have, though, that they're lowering the standards? I, there is no evidence of that. Which I believe there is. There's no what evidence of that, evidence? Elon. What, what is the evidence? I, uh, I believe they have literally lowered the status at, at Duke University, and that is what the article was referring to. There's no evidence saying they have that. not lowered there's, the status? There's no evidence about uh, lowering standards, and I think that there is... Um, I believe that is a false statement you're making. Okay, mm -mm. well, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I, I think the thing is, when, when this is Dual posted links. on the next platform, there will be a whole bunch of things that rebut what you said and what, what I said. Right. And so people can then make their own decision based on the replies and the rebuttals and the community notes. I think that's fair. But I do think that w on this particular- In the community notes. Topic, I do think that you- They do be Shapiro whooping niggas ass on the community in, notes. Uh, about this. Because there was a, what, it, what Ben posted said that people were, he exactly gave instances Dave. of people who were deliberately uh, harming people. Um, nowhere in the thread does Ben suggest at all, I should say, that anyone is being killed as a, a result of DEI? Um, that's purely speculative. There's research on DEI and medicine, and there's no evidence that standards are being lowered, okay. that DEI is affecting medicine. Actually, like okay, well, only 5% of doctors yeah. are black, and a small percent. Yeah, my, well, I think you'll find that when this is posted to the X platform, that uh, people will reply to it with evidence. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Okay. So, but that's my whole thing about moderation. Maybe you're wrong, but you'll put it out there. You don't know if it's right. Do you think that you have a responsibility to make sure something is right before you, the person who owns it, Elon Musk, is yeah. a huge figure in the world, that you should know that it's true, that some of, there are people at X who can get research for you before you put something out there like that. That's not necessarily true, even in other examples. 
Um, if I say something that uh, is inaccurate, I'm immediately wow. corrected on the Still platform. Driving, That's the advantage of a real-time uh, system like X. So they will be immediately oh, in the replies, cor people correcting me. Yeah, this interview fucking sucks, dude. All right, we're going to try this last one, and then we'll move on. The last what is your video. take on this whole Boeing situation? Do you know about this? Boeing with the planes? Yeah. I remember I talked to our, our plane friend a while ago, and he said those planes had an issue, and they were fucking crashing. Is that what we're talking about? Same shit? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, man. That shit's crazy. I think they've had 10 like or 11... Or yeah, they've had like 11 incidents in just this year, 2024. Damn, for real? Because we talked about yeah. this a long time ago, and he said they got that shit fixed. Yeah, this is different. Oh, I know that man. issue, but this is... That's not good, bro. That's scary. Yeah. Road trips from now on. For real, fuck that. Oh. Bruises. Hell nah. <laughs> I did not. Uh, let's talk about trans rights. We're gonna give it. We're gonna give the trans rights thing up until we're gonna give it sixty seconds. And if he doesn't wow us in sixty, we're moving on to the hood chick in Chicago. It's in the, the woke mind virus because you talk about that a lot. You write about that a lot on the thing. You have been deeply out. <laughs> you write about that a lot on that thing. Spoken about the issue of trans right. You posted <laughs> trans rights. You uh, posted that pronouns and bio mean the woke mind virus ate your brain. <laughs> Do you know what the term woke actually means? Oh, wow. He's disrespectful. Awake. Um, it's come to mean a lot of things. But what it actually, what originally it was meant to mean. It's just Bla the, the black thing. It's being aware of inequities in society and, and being aware of facts and, and history. Yeah, I think it's come to be. I think I think being aware of inequities in society is fine, of course. Um, but uh, trying to blame everything uh, on, on trying to make everything a race issue is, uh, I think, a divisive and corrosive to society. Even as it relates to trans issues, which is what I'm... Yeah, race or, you know, a, a gender or whatever. You think blaming, you think that society blames everything on racism now? It blames a lot of things on it, and, uh, yeah. You think that's unfair? <laughs> yeah. Why? I think I think we should we should we should, we should uh, yeah, 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 yeah. not not make this a <laughs> constant uh, subject. I think we need to, need to move on. I think we should just you know um, treat people like people. You don't agree that there's uh -oh. this country was founded on racism and founded on slavery and and in many ways inequities. Um, that still continue on to this. I, I think every country. Uh -oh. uh, at, at that time, and I think even today, I uh, was uh, extremely racist. Um, every country, um, and um, obviously, uh, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country. Um, and it makes it much better. We no, but not was not <laughs> present in the in the uh, north. Uh, there was racism for sure, uh, but you know, the I, th I think we we we, we want to look to the future rather than the past. Um, and uh, instead of engaging in uh, constant rehashing of the past, uh, because it, it, in, in fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave, everyone. Uh oh. Yes, well, okay. not everyone was a slave. No, but everyone was a slave. Okay, but <laughs> we, 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 are, we, are, we are all descended from slaves. Yeah. Well, all of us. Yeah. Um, no, so we, was we, we was kings. We was kings. That shit. We was Kangs. We was Kangs. We is Kangs. Don't let that man lie to y'all. That's right. Was it, was it more recent or less recent? That's it. Right. Um, so the, but what what future do we want? Do we, we want, are. Is this something we want to make a part of our constant dialogue forever, or do we want, do we want to say like let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual? I agree with you with that. That's the ideal, but what the evidence shows is that that's not what's actually in practice. I think we're doing better than anywhere else. That, that's true. I agree with that. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you are able to take advantage of simply because the color of your skin. What advantage, what, what advantage does it do? My color of my skin give me? Well, uh, there's a certain, uh -oh. there's an ease that you we're getting into dangerous territory, people. <laughs> you have a society uh, uh, that many people of color don't. 
you were able to come to this country voluntarily. There are many people who were not able to come to the country voluntarily. There are people Actually, who came I, here as slaves. For me to come here. And there is a legacy of slavery that still continues on. There's a legacy of racism that still continues on in this country. That's, and that's undeniable. Well, if, if, if we keep talking about it nonstop, it will never go away. If we keep making that the central thing, it will never go away. Well, why do you believe that? I think I'm just making a simple statement of fact. Um, so, I think, I think we want to get away from making everything <laughs> a race or a gender or... Elon, you're not looking great here, buddy. <laughs> I know I'm two drinks in, but from where I'm standing, <laughs> from what I'm seeing, it's not looking good for you. Whatever is here. And just treat people like individuals. Do you have any desire to understand what many people of color and even trans people... Um, how they feel about this country and how they're Hell treated no. in this country. If they, if they say, and they believe that they are treated a certain way in this country, why don't you believe them? You, you, you cannot have a situation where, where someone is, is a self-described victim and, and they, and they just get to be that because that's how they feel. I think that that does happen in some cases, but not all cases. And I think that not understanding the now history this of this is when you say, I agree country i think is um is a, a real shame look i've had we should understand had incredible country and other countries i've had incredible opportunities as a person of color right but i've also been very well but i've also been discriminated against and i know that i have and i know that that's real and for someone to say that that isn't happening i should not i should just move forward and not think about that and ignore the past is insulting i'm not saying it don you keep putting words in my mouth i'm not saying it i didn't say that you said it. i'm saying that we want to we, we, as, we as a country uh -oh. should move beyond questions of, of, of race and gender, and we should treat people like individuals and, and base our opinions on them, on the, you know, uh, their, their, uh, their, their, their character and their skills. I don't think that anyone will disagree with that. Exactly. All I'm saying is that that's not happening and it's not well, equal some, for Some everyone. people would definitely that, disagree with that. <laughs> those opportunities don't happen for everyone, and I am a living example that they don't. I know that they don't because I live it. You've been incredibly successful. I have been, and I in think. spite of it all. But I, but I am, I know what I know. I've experienced what I've experienced. You haven't done that. And I cannot, um, I don't know what it's like to be from South Africa. I don't know what it's like to be a white man. I don't know what it's like to be a woman. I don't know what it's like to be a Latino mm -hmm. person. I don't know that. So I wouldn't speak for them and just say, you need to move on. That's not for me to say. I, maybe I believe that the country, it would be great if the country could live up to that ideal. You think that everyone has the same opportunities in America, regardless of their background and ethnicity. Do you agree? You no, I don't that? think everyone has the same opportunities. Okay. Ooh. So. Probably going to get even worse. Um, mm. When you talk about, let's talk about trans rights. When you decided to. I'm um, assuming they're at the uh, Tesla yeah. headquarters or yeah, whatever. I said that about the listen jeez louise man the, the trans Some rights people. it's movement um, it's you not said me it a woke mind virus why do you believe the trans rights movement is a woke mind virus uh -oh. what do you mean by woke mind virus have you ever seen stranger things <laughs> woke mind viruses um when you, you you stop caring about uh people's skills um and their integrity and you start focusing instead on gender and race and other things that are different from that. Um, I think uh, the woke wine virus is fundamentally racist, fundamentally sexist, and fundamentally evil. Okay. And uh, we've got a little bit more time, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You choose your question. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, thank you for that, but uh, you, uh, I would appreciate you. Lorraine, they took away woman of the year, what are you talking about? Answering these, I think it's important that we're doing this. I think it's important to the to world, the world, to hear this, especially what's going on uh, in our. You know, country. Caitlyn Jenner. Uh, the reason I ask you, listen, there are a whole lot of things that people maybe uh, have questions about when it comes to transgender people. Even people who are part of the LGBTQ sure. plus community have, have questions about that. But if you are a free speech absolutist, right, um, and that is part of the First Amendment, also the freedom of expression falls under that First Amendment as well. So why can't people choose? 
to identify with the gender that they feel comfortable with or with a user pronoun. Isn't that part of freedom of expression? Uh, I guess no, they can, they can ask others to do whatever they feel. They can, they can ask others to do anything. What, it, it's a different question whether they, whether they mandate that others do okay. that thing. Okay. Let's, let's talk more about free speech and for advertisers, right? Because all, all this controversy, I, I believe, as you know, has made um, X less appealing to advertisers. About half of them have left the platform. You call advertisers Damn that tough. left X. Uh, dot com. He said there were oppressors. You've even gone as far as saying it publicly that they can go f themselves or go fuck themselves. Advertise if they're if they're going to pull censorship on the, on the company uh, before advertising, then uh, obviously I find that unacceptable. You find it unacceptable. Why is that not a form of of free speech? They are free to advertise where they want. They're not beholden to. They're not yeah. obligated to advertise they're not on obligated. X. dot com. Right. So. How is that not free speech? The, they, they, that's, whereas the mm -hmm. other platforms will censor on behalf of, of advertisers, the X platform will not. Okay. That is not answering so, his question, you, think it's, uh, you don't think it's okay for them not to advertise with or have their content or their advertisement next to something that is anti-Semitic or... That is a different or, question. Uh, you, you, we, we, there's, there's, you can absolutely choose where, next to which content do you want your advertising to appear. Absolutely, of course. Mm -hmm. And we do, we have, I think, very good ad placement controls in this regard. Yeah. So you said if they kill the company, it's them. But does I would it like to make you? a vote. I mean, you're you want to move on? Yes. Yeah, I don't care about his advertisers. Um, they aren't making me any money. I was actually thinking the same thing. So just so you know, you, you didn't come up with that idea. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then we're going to watch the the hood Chicago. The most the most gangster female in Chicago. Kylan, can you see it? Yes. Out of jail, y'all, but he's back. Can you hear it? I, no. Fucking balls. Maybe it'll just start working like the other one. Oh, full screen? Uh, are am. you full screen? Yeah. Oh, then I can't see it. American Dragon. Okay, maybe I just have to do it on here. On here. Oh. What about? What about I do. Okay, maybe I just have to do it on Chrome for some reason. All right, I'll be, I'll BRB. Don't leave, or I'll find you, and I'll, and I'll, you know. Okay, bye. Oh boy. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time for those flags in the chat. Flags in the chat. Come on now. Don't let me down. There we go. I have known Kamal since sophomore year of high school. No, Kamal has many other boyfriends. I am not one. He is back. Okay, okay, okay. Are we ready? Let's do it. The most gangster. You gotta start game. eating before these streams, dog. I know. I'm hungry as fuck. Jail, y'all, but he's back. Move, move. Oh no! Why did I click? Why did I choose this? Why did I choose this video? This was a bad idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Today, we're on the east side of Chicago. No, Tommy? Female rapper in Chicago, Mellow Buck. Yeah! Be understanding, Paul. Be understanding. Be understanding. Oh, God. Well, I ain't never had a friend that band bit spent and went up in. I ever had a friend that what? <laughs> Thank you.
I hate this. <laughs> oh. Just, 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 just. Oh, my skin hurts. Just try to be understanding. Try to be empathetic. It's rejecting. Try to be understanding. Try to be empathetic. You know, that's all. That's all I can it's say. It's like when the sound waves hit Venom and the suit starts crawling off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. that. It yeah, hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rap is typically a male-dominated field, especially the more gangster it gets. I've traveled to many hoods across America, and I've never come across a crew of Oh, no, players. I heard the fellas always the fucking with sexy red. That was until I heard of Mellow oh, Bucks and her crew in Chicago. You gon' bappin' all your raps, and See? we gon' really stand on business. When she ducked her shit when I pulled up. I put VV on her shit and choked her ass up like a duck. With some little ass chains, I call them silly fans. And over his ass, now they think I'm wearing <laughs> rare bottoms. The Chicago drill scene is notorious for the violent Ooh. nature of the music it produces. <laughs> when I saw Mello's music videos, I was blown away by what I saw. Her crew was reckless, aggressive, and boy did they like to twerk. These females had more pipes than a plumber, and they even had a reputation for beating up ops they caught in the streets. This intrigued me, so I took a journey Jesus to Chicago it intrigued to see Mello and her crew mm. lived up to the hype. We couldn't fit all the booty shaking in this video, so visit my Patreon for the extended cut. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we hit the treacherous streets of Chicago. Oh, I don't like this. Just calm down. Just calm down. Come on, just I, don't, calm down. I don't like this. Just calm down. Just calm down. This shit is like a fucking... Channel, it's like an Animal Planet it. documentary. Like, <laughs> I, I hear the Sahara. Literally. It it's intrigued fascinating. Me. The twerking and the uh, ass beating in, intrigued me, so I came to the hoods of Chicago to document <laughs> the ignorance of these coons. Mm, yes. So you call this booty shaking? Mm, mm, yes. Mm, yes. You seem to be doing a lot of this. Mm, okay. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Oh boy. Who's doing all that? And these are the ops, mm, short for opponents. Mm, yes, quaint. Mm, Opposition. Yes. Mm. Mm, yes, yes, quaint, quaint, quaint. Um, you know what? <laughs> Today can't be female. That's something new. I have no idea how sketchy. My mom area said, "Hit the is. like Judging button." Music videos, I would guess, pretty sketchy. We'll see. On and the don't forget to donate. Never forget that. Are there any big rappers in this neighborhood? We're supposed to meet a female rapper out here. What's yeah. her name? Mello, I think. Mello Buck? You ever heard of her before? Yeah, I know Mello. What right. can you tell us about the area? This is the No Limit area where Herb and Lil Bibby and Mello Buck's from. Isn't Kanye West and he goes Oh, yeah. He's from on Saturday night. We on Saturday night right now. You guys ever heard of this rapper named Tommy G? He's crazy. Tommy G? He from on front of Eastside? I mean, he's all over the place, but he has a mixtape coming out very soon. Uh -huh. And the bars on it, dude, it's like, holy shit. Shit, is this guy like the next coming of Drake, Biggie, Tupac? Nobody knows, but we're gonna find him out. He's got like a mustache, None of them niggas kind of fuck bad Drake, goatee, Biggie, or Tupac over there. He wears a blue hat <laughs> and a black jacket. He also drives a, a, sil a silver Chevy, you know. But, um, so y'all should be seeing him at all? No, I haven't seen okay. him. He's um, not I'll stand the look out. Together. What do you think of this guy? Man, he don't look really look like a rapper. Yeah, I'm coming to block. Oh my gosh, there's more. Good meeting you, all right? Yeah, Stay yeah, safe, yeah. okay? He was not picking up on the Tommy G wearing. <laughs> we're in the burbs, right? No, we over east. We in the trenches. What? We in the trenches. They told us they were. We I don't ever want to be oh, any in any trenches. Ooh, what's your bacon? Buck chicken, rock mashed potatoes. Ooh, okay. 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 It seems that the ladies are making chicken. Hmm. <laughs> and twerking. The fried variety. Hmm. Hmm. Common delicacy. <laughs> Among the colors. <laughs> mm, health doesn't seem to be a concern for them, probably because they don't expect to live long. Mm, quaint. Mm, high in calories, low in protein. Good food. Because they ass on how to cook, babe. I cook, cook, okay? I don't just wrap and throw bitches through the window. I'm Mellow Bucks, aka Pretty Op, Big Bucks, you know? Why do they call you Pretty Op? My brother calls himself Big Op, so I'm Pretty Op. You know, like, I'm the op for the girl. Pretty in the face, but still a threat to everybody, for sure. It is stressful living like that. If I grew up like this, this happened my whole life. There's not too much on, on my shoulders, you know what I'm saying? But for somebody who just now jumping off the porch, hell yeah, it'll be stressful type shit. Like 
Like, you know, I witnessed this kind of shit and I've been through this kind of shit my whole life. Yeah. I grew up in the trenches. The people that get it, get it. People that don't, don't, you know? Mm -hmm. And you know how I know you're from Chicago? This is Chicago literally a boondocks episode. That's why I can tell. Hell or death? Yeah. <laughs> what can you tell us about this area? Dead yeah, smack of east, the heart of east, the real of east. I'm talking about the deep end, about the water, baby. So did you ever go for polar plunges in the winter? You ever just jump in, just get tough? Hell nah. We ain't doing no shit like that. I ain't gonna lie. I think like that's how we should end the episode tonight. Oh, my God. You've never done it before? Daniel, first off, fuck you, all right? And so, second off, we can only see the one. I can't see the other ones. They're in the background. <laughs> and fucking oh. Rex, fucking bye. I'm not skinny, dear people. So one thing I've been struggling with, lately, okay? Sometimes rappers will be like, you know what the time it is? Yeah. And I don't even know the time. Yeah, you they're know like, what time it is. Like, they're like, you know what the is going on? I'm like, like, I don't know what the is going on. How do you deal with situations like that? Really, when people say that, they just walk really by the house like, yeah, you know what the f Oh, no, you watch this. Ooh. We taking shots, right? Oh, you know what time it is. Oh, you know what time yeah, it is. Yeah, you know what time it is. Yeah. I hope this don't make me get right. Whoa, what did you say? Oh, is that an issue in the area? Hell no, nah, we don't f OV. We don't tolerate none of that shit. L Rapist. <laughs> Three words to describe Mellow Buck. She does seem say? friendly. Dead fing. The craziest bitch. One of the most hard working people I've ever met. If anyone well, that one seemed like a lot more genuine than the other ones, but you know. <laughs> it's like that fucking bitch. He's like one of the most hard working, dedicated people I've ever met. <laughs> I think the last one was your real friend. Hell yeah, we got her. Here we got baby. Come on, stop playing. You ain't heard of Drench Game? Sounds like they need a towel because Drench Game sounds like a little out of hand. Tell us the mixture that you got going on right now. All of them. I, I do do that. This to make you slap your daddy too. The parsley always just to make my food look pretty because it don't taste like shit. But your real seasoning, you want that to make common. You got the roasted garlic and herbs. We're going to put that on the chicken, all right? What do you think is a good side to go with this? Mashed potatoes. I do a corn. Mmm. That sounds delicious. It feels Steve like is chefing. Rap has completely disappeared from the scene. But you got a lot of people that's from the trenches that feel like rapping is their way out, so they rapping about their everyday life, yeah, or what they like, see every day. So that's why you do have like a lot of good. I feel like I'm so versatile, but what people know me for for sure is my drill rap. I can't never have that side of me though. Like it's super hard to have. Like, you know, I got a lot of shit that I've been through, so I'ma keep rapping about it. Whoever fuck with it, fuck with it. Whoever don't, whoever don't. You know what I'm saying? But I need your honest it? feedback about something. Okay. Okay. Keep it or shave it? I think Wait, you should keep say, it. I keep it. If you shave your mustache, you're gonna look like a police officer. <laughs> I know you're gonna like to make it more precinct. red. I gotta go back for a haircut. Nah, you cool, gang. You <laughs> stand on business. That's a question I have for you. Can a person in a wheelchair stand on business? It's all about the upper body shirt. Okay. I heard that you beat someone's ass in public. Oh my God! Yeah, I had to blow a hole through a window. Man. That seems very violent. But you seem like a gentle wow. person. I am. I'm real gentle. Just don't push my motherfucker buttons you know i just got a bad temper so i get mad at the smallest things and go off real quick about the smallest shit what are your biggest pet peeves talking about my mama that's what got the last through a window don't bring my mama up what's another pet peeve you got lying i hate a lying ass would you date somebody that's less gangster than you? I have before. I had to kick them to the curb, though. They weren't like that. I was choking their ass out, all kind of shit. Would you date someone that works a 9 to 5? No. Yeah, Why not? The nigga with a 9 to 5 can't do shit with me. I don't work a 9 to 5. The niggas that fuck me is the street niggas. Dreadhead felons, gangbang killers. Oh, my mama. <laughs> His face. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, he's like, yeah, we clocked that. <laughs> we clocked that. Uh, oh. uh, I don't know why, but she does annoy me way less than a sexy red. I don't know what, maybe it's because she's not talking about green cum. That's probably it. Uh, she whipping it up too. Mm -hmm. Pretty out, cooking class, one on one, two holes on how to cook. I wouldn't eat it. She has vegetables. Put your corn and some half and half in the milk. The corn gonna be nice and creamy, okay? Put you some black on the pepper, cup. some slappy mama, and some parsley. Slap some butter on there, a little She's bit using more parsley. parsley. Wow. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I don't just rap, you know? She's a I gracious host. It's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. Okay. 
When I showed my wife, she's like, damn, she looks fun. She looks like the real deal. Yeah. <laughs> damn, you married? Go yeah. ahead. Sweet cheeks, I call them. So sweet cheeks? Yeah. <laughs> That. You want to get married? Marriage is overrated to me. Really? I feel like everybody cheats. So you just got to find someone that is honest and does what they say they're going to do. The type of niggas that I like, you will never get a faithful nigga out of no wood nigga. Like, you know? Have you ever spent too much on jewelry and you're like, holy shit, I just wasted the monthly budget on jewelry? No. Should I say go back? Try to buy property. A pair of girls will make you that. happy for a day or two, but buying investment properties is what you build yeah. generational family wealth for. And my great grandson can have his chain too. What the fuck he talking about? <laughs> you fucking lame. Um, <laughs> I will say the women seem to have their head on their shoulders much more than the dudes that we saw from Chicago. Holy fuck, it's like night and day. Hey man, just know this ice don't melt. This ice generation. Not the right music, sir. Yeah, it's really not. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Hey, he risen up. He risen up. Hey, he's taking. Hey, he going home with Charlotte. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a that's an anthem. Crib on this block when I was a shorty, I used to live on Kingston. That's where we hung out at. You know, I had a couple cribs through over east, though. You know, I got a crib on like 80th and Kingston, 76 and Phillips, 77 and Kingston. This yellow building, this my old crib when I was a shorty, shorty. I'm talking about like baby. One, two, you know. So if there's young women in school right now that are watching you and want to become a female drill rapper, what would you tell them? Pursue your dreams. Don't let nobody get in the way of your dreams. Stay raw, stay authentic. You don't stay have to raw. change for the industry. This the eight block right here, 078. We 07807 now, but I'm really a 78 baby. Like, this is what we used to party at. This is what we used to kick it at right here. Right here, yeah, we used to yeah. all the time. Y'all see, see the sound stay right indoors. here? Stay indoors. This is a real year right here. Okay. <laughs> What? <laughs> so I want to introduce y'all to somebody, right? Her name is Teresa. We call her Mama Teresa. She been over east for as long as I can remember. She pierced my ears. She pierced my nose, my ears. She makes tasers, lashes, nose rings, everything y'all need. My girl just even got the two pieces for y'all hoes, okay? You think you naked? Oh, my mama, she I feel like someone that wears this is going to do freaky shit and to it, you. Ooh. Oh. And you change what you're wearing a week to 10 days okay sure. so your boyfriends are getting a new woman like every week my, to 10 yeah, days you already know my my nigga whatever shit they gonna get a new they gonna get a new every week you hear me mother Teresa, how long have you known mellow bucks i know her long time so i've been here 44 years yeah but i'm only 22 so i've only been she's like i have no idea who this woman is i'm not gonna lie to you they all start <laughs> looking the same after a while born <laughs> half as long she been there, so you can just imagine. Mama Teresa, the one. He said, "Ain't that mulatto bug? No, mellow bug. You got mulatto it. bug. Right. It's mellow bug. Don't forget the extra Z." You have to put him on blast like that. He's trying. Okay. <laughs> she was gracious about it. Come on, we can Her friend wouldn't, but she would. Do you have yeah. any advice about life for the youngsters that might be watching this? Any advice for the people out there about being a business know. owner? Don't come to me. She said, I don't know, just get that money right around. She said, I don't know, just get that money. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, that man, it, it. <laughs> 
accomplished a lot at a young age. What's something you're most proud of? My impact on women. Yep, right here. Oh, what do you think your impact on women? My impact on women is that you can do whatever you put your path to, no matter what narrative people or men put out on women. The way I rap, I have so many people telling me you should have more sex appeal or you should rap like this or you shouldn't be so hard or you shouldn't be so gangsta. You know, what about the tomboys? What about the girls that's like me? What about the girls that grew up rough? What about the girls that's in the trenches? I love when I when I when I do shows for the kids and and the kids rapping my song word for word. Cause these kids growing up just like me. So I wanna be the voice for them. You know what I'm saying? But also show them it's a way out. What is your biggest regret? I don't regret nothing because everything is a lesson. So if I can learn go. something very from positive. it, what made me make the right decision next time. I will say I she's a very it. positive individual. She is and she's she's definitely, uh, she's one of the good ones. <laughs> well. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay. I'm sticking with that. Situation with knowledge, yo, mama, I ain't regretting it. Let me show y'all, this is my block right here. 78 for Essie. Yeah, babe. My mom said black girl magic. That's what I'm talking about. Don't oh, coming down the stairs. <laughs> Don't Don't be scared, check it out. Check it out. What's my favorite? Locked up. Oh, what? Oh, what? If phone them say he better go put some shoes on, he don't want to see y'all in this little spot. You guys treacherous around here? It go down. We in the trenches, Libby. You feel my f***ing try to rip this house to a link car. If y'all don't know, my first ever song I ever dropped is called Went Silly. I did a um, King Von remix. Long live King Von, yeah. Pookie over here. Yeah. yeah. My little bro, Lil Twan right here, he just got out of jail, y'all. Yeah. But he's back. He's back. Yeah. Hey, this is the one that's going to chase you down. This big Not 30, this big bad for 30. And any hoes that play with my brother, hey, drench, drench him! Yeah. Shut up, yo nigga, can't do shit. Shut up, bitches, take this Don't play with phone and with my cousin say, like Whoa. a magic trick niggas just gonna disappear. We don't know. My good sis with the dress, that y'all just see me. I love this camaraderie. She went to work. That's why y'all don't see her right now. They're so fun. They're so loyal to each other. We just have to respect that. <laughs> They're just so fun. That pay her, her manager, $25 to leave work. <laughs> y'all out here to manage She on the way. And when y'all wet, hmm, you ain't gotta get when wet. you say wet, gotta get wet, Studio yeah. or chicken? Where we heading next? Studio. He did not just say studio or chicken. He did not just <laughs> unironically ask her studio or chicken and then immediately go to a, a black guy with a gun in his hand. This is insane. <laughs> and then ask. This is a documentary, bro. Jesus Christ. Mom, mom, mom. Mom, is this still black girl magic? Does this still apply? Man, so this is a rambunctious <laughs> crew, dude. Like, they got some pep yeah. in their step. I'm a fan of Mellow Bucks. They got some their energy, their charisma, her attitude. I'll be shocked if she's not like the next sexy red or Nicki Minaj because that type of energy and you bring it to a concert every f***ing trap in America is gonna show up and shake ass and have a good time let's head to the studio headed to the stew I gotta say something about the crew now I've spent some time with you guys uh -huh. it is you guys got that high energy. You guys are rambunctious. Oh. Uh huh. You guys are sexy. Yeah. You guys are ratchet. Yeah. And you're about yes. it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing a sexy dance. Bitch, I drop off Casamigos. I might go home with your man. Do you ever feel bad if you go home with someone else's man? Oh. Go home with no niggas. Right. Yeah. Your man ain't your man if I went home with him. This is why I come and record all my music and make all my hits. I'm just speechless. I don't even have anything to say. What's the Milwaukee dance? That's I'm, that's just, that's I'm just, just beautiful. I'm just in their this world. I'm just in their world right now, you know? Maybe. I'm just experiencing it. Submersion. Mm-hmm. 
how you come in here? And like y'all, when I'm, yeah. saying, I'm not just saying this because it's my engineer. I'm saying that because he know what the fuck he's doing. He don't just mix the music. He mix and mash the music. You hear me? <laughs> Careers heating up. I am betting on you. Like, there's no way you're not going to be turning up cities sure. all around the country. Mm -hmm. What's on your list that you want to accomplish before everything's set down? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. All right, double A for sure, for sure. I need a couple plaques. Do you want to say independent or get signed? Right now, I'm my independent shit. Eventually, I, I want to be I wanna be able to build myself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe eventually, you know, I sign me a little something. Right now, I'm trying to pave the way. Who's someone you want to collaborate with? Give me Smirk, Drake, or Meek Mill. Can you tell the people what is special? Meek what's going on here? Why is she unique Meek in the Millie. city right now? You got the best music in the city right now? <laughs> to be honest, I think it's the fact that, like, Mello appeals He used to, to grind like, like that like, for times like that. Girls, whether you in <laughs> the streets or you just in the club or if you just in the Or in the sheets. Or in the sheets. Three words. Bucks in three words. Oh, that's hard. Oh, God, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. There you that's go. That's right, thing. <laughs> Let me find out too hard right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just go with she that bitch. That's three words. Oh, right? that's 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 the number one gonna be funny. I'm gonna say spontaneous. I'm definitely spontaneous. And if you don't ever say, yeah, let's go rock climbing. I say something be like, yeah, let's go do it right now. Like I be wanting to do this shit right then and there when I'm speaking on it. And the last one, I'm gonna definitely just say talented. Cause there's so many different things that come with that. Y'all just seen me do a whole vlog earlier on my sister crib about how to cook some chicken. Oh, see, That's who paid they manager. <laughs> yeah, when we sold y'all the 25 dollars earlier, this the one who paid her manager to leave work. You <laughs> ain't never had a friend that been big spent and went up in. Oh, oh. I ever had a friend that what? That been big spent and went up in. You had the Benny? And you and not been no booty hole go up in it. Okay, now we're talking business. Okay. What is the meaning of life? Life stand for laughter. Always laugh. I stand for independent. L oh wow, she got a whole acronym. The world. And E stand for elevating. She got all up at BP. Man, no she freestyle that then shit. Then we shooting mm -hmm. shit like MTV. Now I'm up at BT. Niggas bop up in they rap. I don't get no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no stopping blow. We hopping out on niggas like one, two, three, huh? I got some ideas for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So M. NBA, DNA, they need a nurse like CNA. <laughs> they, my crew don't say shit like an NDA. Hey, look, I got to watch this, watch this. Wanna play on my top, now he got dropped, now he needs CNA. One time. It's crazy that in a span of 20 minutes, a hit can be made that can change your life, that goes <laughs> into the internet and changes everything for you. You start selling oh, out oh. shows, you get millions he of views. Gassing up, page, bro, he gassing like up. That. And we don't tolerate no rats. We don't say shit like NDAs. I keep telling these hoes to get outside, but they gonna chat, huh? <laughs> Pretty up. <laughs> How do you only have four songs on YouTube right now? I'm being smart about dropping. Niggas want me to drop a Russian drop. I'm being smart about dropping. I'm trying to go through my music, see which one. Is she rapping on Soldier Boy. Which one got the, the most catchy shit? I'm background. trying to drop the best of the best. Uh, that's why I'm in the studio. That'd be hilarious though. Every day, the best producer in the motherfucking world, everything original you over here. <laughs> Make more music, cause every time I come to the studio, I get better. It's really cool to be witnessing a young star. Like you can feel it in the air. Like I've been in a lot of different studios, yeah. and you got something special. Yeah. I have no doubt that uh, concerts around the country, you're gonna turn it up. You're gonna yeah. go crazy. For sure. And we're sitting on a hit with this song. I f that man. I f Hey, look, from the rock all the way to Milwaukee, me and my boy, he came and slide on me, you know? I'm just a cool little gangsta <laughs> you know? All right, folks, you've had a journey to Chicago with Mellow Bucks, and we'll see you next week. Period. Pretty op out, and I pulled this much message. <laughs> oh. Wow. We got through. See you guys this summer in Chicago, huh? Yeah, we'll probably never go to Chicago. Um, <laughs> probably will never go. He said, uh, on the block with pimps and prostitutes. Inside the deadly world of mercenaries. Hmm. 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 The boot girls, Atlanta's masked vigilantes. Oh, no. I'm curious. No. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm Tommy. Curious. Please. You know who these people are or no? No. We'll give it five minutes. G, and today we're in Atlanta with the boot girls. <clears throat> they're vigilantes, they're superheroes. Boot <laughs> 
girl. Oh, Texas. Oh, what? Who is it? Just go. We got the police here. You see his lights? Oh God. It's illegal. I mean, the legal theory is it's legal. Like that's it. Let's go get some boots. The year was 2023, and the setting is the city of Atlanta. The people of Atlanta were furious. Terrible place. Why? <laughs> because their cars were being booted left and right. That is until two friends decided to become mask vigilantes. No. The boot girls. Now, for those of you that don't know, a boot is a device that a private booting company can place on your car to keep it in place. It restricts your car's movement until you pay the fine to get the boot off. But the people of Atlanta don't like this. The boots have caused quite a lot of controversy in the city. And in Atlanta's darkest hour, two heroes came from the shadows to help the boot girls. Meet wow. the boot girls. Heroes. The best friend duo says they're saving <clears throat> Buckhead one metal boot at a time. You touch my friend, I'm gonna whip your you a great man. We don't got no beef with the people that put boots on the cars, but, but we gonna take it off. Here's how they work. You send them a DM on Instagram and they come help you get a boot off your car. Wow. Today, we speak to the boot girls and get their story and rescue the city from boots. Hey man, Let's throw up the, the boot street. signal. <laughs> A lot of Americans are at a point where they feel like they're getting squeezed by the government, squeezed by the man. And when people like this, the boot girls come along and help How you much? fight the man. If they the do it for like free, wow. You. The question about what they're doing is, nah. is it illegal? What do the people think? I saw 50. Are doing about I it? And we're going to find that out as we get boots on the ground with the boot 50? Girls. Definitely we'll worth it. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a bargain. Easy. No delivery charge? That's not bad. So we're here with some Atlanta legends. You guys are like comic book heroes. Yeah. What are we up to today? We have a couple boots to do. Okay. We have three lined up that they've hit us up on Instagram and we already got their addresses. They've been waiting. Why are they booting up people's cars? Sometimes they're just hating on them. Sometimes well, like they- I, I, I doubt it's that. I doubt it's always just, that. I doubt they're just hating on them. There's probably gotta be some- You mean I couldn't park here for 20 more minutes? I wasn't bothering anybody. That's true. Never mind. My bad. Will mistakenly put their license plate number and they'll still get booted. Like they just don't. They don't feel bad for them at all. And how much does it cost for someone to remove their boot? For us, it's fifty dollars. What does it cost if they go through the city? Okay. Seventy-five a day. So you give them the bargain. Yeah. And we come way quicker. Oh. That's the boot girls. <laughs> it is the boot girls. We saw you like two days ago for the first time. We were like, rock on. <laughs> Hell yeah. We were like, rock. On. Let's go get some boots. We love that white approval. Oh. Hell yeah. Good PR. <laughs> I know where that is. You guys just get DMs and DMs every single day asking you to help them. Yep, every single day. We get like, what, probably like 200. How do you keep up with all that? We might miss some. Sometimes <clears throat> we even send the Boot Brothers to go get some. You know, we got help, so. Oh, How wow, do you guys come to organization? Wow. From there, we it's just like really brought the key Justice League and, and just Teen Titans. Exactly. So did you have to meet up with someone that's like a machinist or like? My friend introduced us to this one dude and he was buying keys off this one dude who was selling keys and the dude was so happy to be our manager now. Let's see some of the messages that you're getting. Oh, he got a rental. He yeah, he has your... a rental. Most of them get booted in rentals because their regular cars is the one that's registered to where they're living and the rental is not. So when they park up there, they get booted because I guess the company doesn't know this car. So they're booting it. How do you decide which ones you're gonna take? We respond to all of them and we just see who still needs help. They could literally make a movie about you guys. I'm working on one too. It's coming up by the way. Ooh. Oh, What's it gonna shit. be on again? For Hulu. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, Hulu? Not even Tubi. Hulu. That's one of the main ones. Exactly. Position to where we're going to get up out of there. You got the money? Yeah, cash, baby. Tell me what this means to you to have the boot girls in your city. It's a blessing because the boots, they be doing a lot out here. So it's like for them to come <clears> and <throat> do it to a convenience is a good thing. So and you guys got this down to a sign. So that was pretty quick already. Thank you. That's it. We're yeah. done. Mission accomplished. We're on to the next one. Anything you got to say about the boot girls? I love them. We love you too. Love you too. 
<laughs> Boot Crocs coming soon too, by the way. So. Wow, they got oh, merch. Oh, they got merch. Branding got is merch. through the roof. They got a movie coming. So Damn, this is Black Girl Magic. This is such a great promo. Is like our adrenaline is always on rush. Like, very what? powerful too. Do you feel like you guys have a greater purpose to serve? Like you're helping hey, society? Man. Yeah, I yeah. do feel like life is more purposeful. I even saw there was, I think it was a U.S. Senator was behind you guys. Like, I haven't had one person complain about the Boot Girls. I'm sure if we had the booting companies here, they would say something different. I haven't seen anyone approach you guys as if you're doing anything bad besides the boot company. They're the only ones hating. Have That's you guys got any controversy? Sometimes we get Karens come by with their phone. You're not supposed yeah, to be yeah, doing yeah. that. Shut <laughs> up, we had Karen. another boot at Sky House, but like sometimes they don't answer or respond, especially like when we're really close to it. Ooh, that's now, our it. Yeah, that's pet peeve. Pet peeve. Okay. There's another boot at Cyan, actually. Fun fact, that's actually where I first got booted. Yeah, that's where we used to live. I wonder how much so they make it a day. back to the original oh, no. place that makes your guys' history. Yep. How long ago did you guys start? It's not like seven, eight months ago. What were you doing before you became the boot girls? We um, both did hair. That's yeah. how we became friends. How many hours a day do you feel like you're out and about getting boots up? <clears throat> All day. This was crazy, man. You could be like, oh, man, I ain't sleep too well. Let me see if it's some boots need to be removed. <laughs> 3 a.m. You it's know, like that's driving Uber. Exactly. You There's just wake up business. and do this shit. <laughs> yeah, we don't like security. So oh, they rocking up. <laughs> we got <laughs> When we have our mask on, because the front is not tinted, uh -huh. so we feel like they can see us, and they might try to come start drama. Have you ever had an interaction with police about this? I got arrested. What? But the boot man said um, I stole the boots and I threw them over a gate. Oh, he said Gray Jeep and right there, right there. Park. How long have you been waiting? I've been waiting like 45 minutes. That's it, for real. What can you tell us about the boot girls? They reliable. Anytime I need a boot, and I ain't trying to pay the boot, man. I hate the boot girls. How does the city feel about the boot girls, would you say? Well, often like, are you uh, getting boots, boots on your car? With them. Nobody else doing it but them. They like our superheroes. <laughs> you got cash or cash out? Cash out. <laughs> oh, okay. I sent you the cash out now just now. I don't so you even know if I've ever seen them. Hey, so again. It's been like, like 10 minutes, and we already have two customers. It's cheaper than parking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, yeah. I'll take the boot. What? Who is it? Let's go. Parking would have been eighty. You see his lights? No, the security dude. Okay. Oh. I told him to my bad. <laughs> I know you're about to get popped. Oh no. my god. <laughs> For this video, I've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook. An official partner of the NFL. Few. All Ty right, calm down. Yeah, why is he? The DraftKings video. Sure, you always I probably has a so if you guys it. take your mask off, can you go around and do your normal thing, or do you always have to be kind of like on the low when you're moving around town? When our mask is off, no one knows us. Is yeah. that kind of cool? Yes. Yeah. Who are some cool people you guys have gotten to meet on this journey? Jockey. Like Spider Man. Jockey, Spuda, Young Jock. Cody Shang, we took Cody Shang. Oh, Shang. damn. Can't wait till Nikki get a boot. I, me too. Nikki. I, I really wanted Beyonce to get a boot when she was here, but. <laughs> Tell us about the boot empire that you guys are creating. We're just going around taking people's boots off, man, helping out our city, fighting a problem. Now tell people about how common booting is and how ridiculous it is or how you feel about it. A lot of cities utilize booting, but Star usually it's like people. reserves for law enforcement. Here in Atlanta, it's privatized. <laughs> Anybody who goes online and buys a couple so. of boots and gets a contract with the property owner can slap a boot on your car. One of the larger companies got sued a couple years ago and some discovery came out, found out that they do a hundred thousand boots a year one company in the city of atlanta multi-million dollar a year business we wanted to get the opinion of somebody in the booting industry so we called jeff phillips ceo of advanced booting services to get his opinion good morning my name is tom i'm calling for jeff phillips yeah i left a message for him last week Following up on a story about booting in Atlanta, I just wanted to be able to say his side of the story. I was wondering if he could get back to us. 
All right, thank you. And he did not return our call. Damn. Everyone in Atlanta knows somebody that has been Ghosted. Booted. Pretty much everyone in Atlanta has been booted at some point in time. Not just those. Not so, me, dude. Oh, what do we got here? Calm Those that down. New boot keys, 3D printing them now. So this is a sophisticated Damn. operation. Like you guys are kind of a technology business in a way. That's how we came together. They found my product from a reseller and went out there and started removing boots. But hey, man, I got an idea. Available commercially through me. Mm -hmm. And the booting companies, they're not. It's going to be real profitable for the two of us. Okay, what is it? Does that have anything to do with booting? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we get these keys, right? Uh huh. And we drive around the city. Uh huh. We gotta we gotta print it on the side of the car first. We gotta think of a name. All right. Okay. <laughs> Boot buddies. <laughs> All right, it's a hit. It's friendly. Uh, it is. All right, it's not threatening. <laughs> it could be a cartoon. It's like Cuphead. Yeah, it could boot be a buddies whole franchise. Got a whole nice rap vehicle. Mm. You know, it's all I, about branding. I like it. This man said booty buddies. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> You are really one letter off from a whole nother me. I know. It's more sophisticated lives, <laughs> and it's on me to figure out ways to lead them. <laughs> You're a character. I booted my car, but I didn't even get mad because I heard about y'all. You like us? You like our voice? Yeah. Turn me on. Turn me on. You got cash or cash app? Cash, cash. Oh my god, a big f***ing spider. Did y'all see that? She said your car dusty. Musty. Hey, that's hard. So what is it like seeing the boot girls sweep through the city and help people? Man, it's crazy. They saved the city one boot at a time, though, for sure. Nice to have you, Jay. Well, Thank you had to. Yeah. Okay, appreciate it. Another satisfied customer, folks. So is this what a typical day looks like? Yeah. Yep. Sunny, booty, and money. <laughs> so how long have these new keys been in development for? I've been working on them for maybe like two months now. These are the first official ones that are going to be up for sale. Um, so you're competing against a company that has millions and millions of dollars at the look at that. Just like that. So have you had to hire any of their people onto your side so that you can crack the code? And they don't treat their employees very well. So there's people on their side who have reached out and offered assistance. And, and he infiltrated them. Compensated them for it. But well, like hire like man. payroll. No. Some I'm movie shit. It. When it comes to this stuff, let me see if I can figure out how to do a boot. Ah. Boom. And you can purchase the keys if you live in Atlanta, atlbootkey.com. Do you feel like wow. the boot companies are kind Damn. of hammering the citizens of Atlanta? Yes, sir. It feels like there's a lot of Americans right now where paycheck to paycheck is a reality. Yes, sir. And little things like a boot or an extra ticket can really just sway your month. Yeah, because if it's $75 a boot to take it off, that's a lot of bread. Kind of a general feeling right now in America. I feel like the people versus the system. And I feel like the people are starting to wake up. Do you feel that as well? Yeah, that's the reason why a lot of people don't go on these jobs and work like they used to before the pandemic. The pandemic, that is. It's uh -oh. all set up for us to fail. Oh, you know shit. Oh, the shit. They gonna the pandemic. Papa's got some suspir conspiracies. I said suspiracies. <laughs> pop it in, pop it off. Do you view them as villains or heroes? Heroes, for Why sure. The they're villains is the motherfucker putting the boots on for bullshit. Yeah. Baby. They mean, they gonna... What would you do if you saw the boot girls right now? I'll take a picture with them. Okay. <laughs> what they at? They're happen to pop out nowhere. Now. They might pop out. They might so pop out. I'm a pole. Out. Where they at? <laughs> nah, bro, they cool with them. I don't see you somewhere too, bro. You you do YouTube yes. or something. Don't you? Yeah, Tommy G. Tommy G. I know, I know you got this camera all in my face, but <laughs> something's telling me you make videos. You do YouTube, don't you? Damn, you are a genius. We're diving into the boot girl business a little bit. We're going to their secret T-shirt facility. What does success look like to you? Having like a motorcycle. A nice house and a car with my family around. You must have a million and one men knocking on your door <laughs> trying to date you. What is that like? It's crazy, actually. What are you looking for? That man? true. I don't even know what you look like. I know it's you. Is that hard to find? You think these days? Yes, it's so hard. I feel like you're not asking for too much. 
I'm not, and they can't even accommodate the little that I asked for. What do you think that is? Like, why is the dating pool so weak right now? I don't know. Don't you have a girlfriend? I'm married. Oh, you're married? And she is the best. How can I get married? I guess you gotta find like someone that is like, white. that tells the truth. That's true. Yeah, honestly. I got fired from my job and I went into YouTube full time. Mm -hmm. She trusted the process. She let me chase it. I got to retire. Wow, that's so romantic. And she just helped me build the empire here. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So yeah. this is the part of the That's the American dream. Huh? Yes. So when I'm chasing, fuck that boot <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm trying to be Google's number one employee. What do your parents think about this? Our parents are so excited. They're proud watching us on the news. They go around and be like, oh, my daughter's the boot girl. My daughter's the boot girl. My dad's taken off some boots from yeah. me before. So how are you trying to get these t-shirts out to people? Are you trying to ship them? Are you trying to deliver them when you remove the boot? What's your plan? I want to do all of them. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a site live, and then we're going to have some in our car. So when we're taking off boots, we'll offer a shirt. Have you heard of them before this, Colin? Not them, but I know it's a thing. Okay. Have some merch on us. Fuck your shirt. And the boot. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to join the movement, but I do now. Okay, good to know. I'm putting their links in the description. Let's blow these people up. Send them a message. Give me a 50 in my glove compartment. Why do you feel like there's not as many female superheroes out there? I kind of feel like the females are kind of like shy and scared and they just don't want to do it. How quick did it take to become known for doing this? 24 hours when we first made our TikTok, it just blew up. So you guys were almost like overnight, boom, shot out of a cannon. Yeah, we kind of woke Let's up. Be Fucking nice. Where to next? <laughs> we are going to the tattoo shop, Atlanta East. All right, we'll see you guys there. Uh oh, that, hey, it's my block. This is like committing to the lifestyle, committing to boot gang. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Committing to boot gang. <laughs> You gotta have a company tats, bro. I got a question for you. You're growing your boot girl too. How do you determine if someone is suitable boot for Boot buddies on, on the shoulders. On the shoulders? Just let them go on their own. If they're too nervous, they cut it out. They oh. just yeah. block. We're the only girls. We oh, really? Yeah, we don't have other girls. It's already difficult for us and the dudes. I'm sorry, I know you want to trans so stand. I know you always want to wear those. How is it being female CEOs with all male staff? That's kind of cool. They're like the bros. Mm. Would you date an employee? No. no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> That's against the code? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, against the code. So, Shaisi, I asked this to baby, but I'm sure you have your DMs flooded with people that want to take you on dates and all sorts of things. How do you deal with that? You can give me a day's worth of my paycheck. All right, and Lorraine. I'm going on a date with you. Because how am I going to risk not unbooting people Lamont. just to go on a date with you? And what so, are you looking for in a partner? You got to have that boot coins, you know? So, you want someone that's rich? And treats me right, because you can't be rich and beating on me. Is that <laughs> hard to find in Atlanta? Yes, because they either just be man, wealthy the bar so and high, man. I know, all you have to do is just not beat her. I mean, I feel like she's really not asking for <laughs> Oh, oh that's, God. that's gonna lie. I mean, yeah, damn, bitch, pick one. Jesus. Or they be like, <laughs> not loyal. What percentage of men do you think cheat on their wife or girlfriend? I give it 95%. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Hot damn, bro. Hey, check yourself, bro. Where do you see 95. the boot girls going? I mean, we're definitely gonna be on stage by next year, if not before. It's the world's biggest content creators. Who knows, you know? Wherever the wind takes us. So you worked with Hulu recently. How was it shooting your first TV show? It was kind of nervous. They had mics on us. How many people were part of their crew? It was like three. Were we more cool under pressure than them? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the second one's nice. Yeah, I like the second one. A little darker. Well, it's going to be really hard to deny if you get arrested now and you're like regular clothes. Hey, I'm just a big fan. Might as well show your face. Baby, when did you get yourself a lawyer? We got a lawyer like ASAP. <laughs> when you got the call, the boot girls want to talk to you. What was that like? I reached out to them. Yeah. I saw what was going on. Two things. Number one, these girls need a lawyer. People need lawyers on deck all the time. Like, and <laughs> Whoa. He said, just got here. Who are these people? Why they got ski masks in a gym? <laughs> <laughs> so quick recap. Uh, 
this guy is cockeyed. Um, how do we? <laughs> you didn't have to point it out. I had to. We I'm, see it. I'm we sorry. see it. I had to. I, the 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 thing was right there. I had to. I had to point it out. I'm sorry. Uh, he does look faded, and I am OTS. But basically, they they go around and they remove boots off of cars. They call themselves the Boot Girls. Okay. That's like their business. That's their empire. They're, they're social media famous. They got a Hulu show. Secondly is a way to, quite frankly, get myself out there. And it's so Hello, crazy. Bro. Like, well, I'm... that's fucking temporary, all right? Get off my ass. Literally been there with them in situations where boots were being removed and police came out and did absolutely nothing. They were like, it's cool. From what we hear, the police actually like them. Everyone in the city, minus the boot company, is a fan of what they do. Yes, and it goes across the political spectrum. Left, center, right, it doesn't matter. People on the right Can like you them fix because that? they're anti-authoritarian. And people on the left like them because they're freeing people. What is the legal theory behind this all? That's I mean, the, the legal Mr. theory Beast is video. it's legal, like that's it. <laughs> Common misconception <laughs> is that they're committing some either misdemeanor or felony. Right, so Georgia basically has criminal trespass, which can be done is if you interfere with the use of an object, which they're not interfering with the use of it at all. The boots are being removed. How do you guys the talk to this man? Does not block or hinder. Do you focus on the nose, Bro, one eye. I had that look away. Once I was working What'd a you job do? and I had to like talk to a customer. It was like one of my first days too, and this dude was cock-eyed, like for real. Damn. And I didn't know what to do. I just kept looking at the fucked up eye. I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The fucked up eye. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at both and like hoping that was the right thing to do. I didn't know, man. Oh, God. They don't teach you how to do that in school. I don't they know. They don't. I'm, what am I supposed to do? It's a lottery pick. That's what I'm saying. I was just looking at both the best I could. Try to show them respect. Get right back together and setting it to the side. So that does not apply. So Danny, in the event that YouTube tries to age restrict this or demonetize it because it's illegal, uh -huh. would that be a false thing to do because it's completely illegal? Completely 100% false. 100% legal. Just wanted to run that by you guys. <laughs> Did you have to get her out of a situation, out of a pinch? We believe that Atlanta Police Department made a wrong decision, arrested her falsely. Most people don't know their rights. They don't know what is and what isn't legal. They don't know what the restrictions are on the booting companies. True. Booting company charging them 50, 75 bucks, whatever it is, right? People need their car. They're gonna pay it. Who's to say that those people weren't illegally booted? Come on, Atlanta is a city of scammers. There's <laughs> okay, nobody checking God, these thanks. booting companies. In the presence of funny. your lawyer, is there any message you wanna to say to the boot companies right now? I hate y'all. <laughs> hey, well, without speech, them, you wouldn't have boot companies, You better watch out. We got her and Shiesty on your case, all right? You know what, to end this episode properly, I think we should get one more boot. What do you think? We should. Let's hit the streets. <laughs> He's like, damn, I'm tired. Damn the boot, man. Damn the fucking boot. Oh, wow, I know exactly where that is. That's crazy. So, quick question. How long have you had this boot? I done had this boot for two weeks. So, how much did they want you to pay? They want me to pay, I think it was around $1,200. How much did you Damn. Pay? Yeah, $75 yeah. a day. Job well done, huh? Yeah. She made a bunch of money today. Okay. You helped a bunch of people today. He's by a shirt. Feel great, actually. That right there was like the final little touches that I needed. And now you're headed to a Drake concert with money in your pocket, ready to roll. Ready to roll and just scream. I've had a pleasure meeting you, speaking with you, covering your story. I'm just so happy to meet everybody. And look at their car. They can move now. You give people freedom yeah. to live their life. Well, folks, this has been a fun episode. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. You don't love me. You don't know me. Um, shout out to the Black Girl Magic. This is beautiful. They're just out here doing their thing, bro. We're just saving people. Adapting. Surviving. Helping people survive from the fucking, from the boot-ass Karens. Them boot-ass Karens. Ah. Oh. I think we're gonna end it there. I saw there's Bobby Althoff and, and Funny Marco. Kylan, what do you think? Round two. You saw? Yeah, it's new. You saw it? It's real. Uh huh. Oh you shit! Just posted it. Let's watch some. Fuck it. We're just chilling right now. Hey, uh, Bobby. You guys like Bobby? They you guys know Bobby? They do not know who she is. He's here today. Round of applause. I know they don't know Funny Marco. They might. Can y'all clap too? They don't. They don't know. No. Round of applause. No. Ooh, you changed. Yeah. 
Where we start? This has been a long journey. It has. Yeah. So for you don't know. Uh, <coughs> Dear, are you okay? Bobby. Yeah, I'm okay. You have COVID. No, I don't. Okay. That's rude. Bobby. So, uh, I want to go into the story about how we got to the interview. Um, the what side? Okay, from my point of view, I remember seeing the app. And it was just saying like, oh, I will pay somebody if you do this interview. Mm -hmm. So that caught my attention. I'm like, this is really, really, really nice. And then I went and I seen you. At first, I thought it was the police, honestly. My mom so said increase the speed. The only thing with increasing the speed with comedy, it throws off the comedic timing, woman. Into it, I went to your TikTok. What made you think about it? Hmm? What made you think about it? I'm trying to see if she got any better at comedy. Yeah, let's see she, she got worse yeah. already. <laughs> already oh this damn this isn't even the real one okay this is the real one hello we're all this is me marco prize picks this episode is brought to you by sprite damn big thank sponsor. you sprite for giving Shout me an endorsement deal thank you for actually saving my life and paying my bills for giving me 1.5 billion dollars <laughs> and nobody would never believe me because i don't act like it so thank you that should have happened one day. How you doing? Right. Oh, never mind. Let me get. Let me introduce Bobby and the live audience. <clears throat> Bobby is here today. Round of applause. Would you do a video with Bobby? Can y'all clap too? Sure. No. Round of applause. I'll do a video with anybody. Anybody? Yeah. Mm. That's not true at all. Uh, okay. Where we start? This has been a long journey. It has. Yeah. So for you don't know. Uh, <coughs> Dear, are you okay? Bobby. Yeah, I'm okay. You have COVID. No, I don't. Okay. That's rude. But the phone, so I was like, oh, this is definitely the police. But then she called back. She's Perfect. like, I'm putting my kids to sleep. I'm like, this is definitely sus suspicious. I remember. Uh, the BT Awards, because I was like, I was like, what do you want? Oh, yeah. Just fly she, me out and do it? Yeah, she and gotta, she was like, she fix, no, I don't. Her property, so I would never fly nobody out. So I'm like, okay, whatever. It's all day side. Her new move, she, she just learned. Said, never she got to spam it. Side. That's like, all she yeah. got. Like I said, that's not what I said. I couldn't afford to. You said I would never fly nobody out. I said I can't right now. Did I pay for your Uber, though, there? Yeah. Yeah, and I put you in an Uber SUV all the way to Laguna Beach. It's like a four hundred dollar Uber. Damn. What else would you gonna put me in? A regular Uber. Oh, my camera's back working, y'all. Thank you. Uh, so now I'm looking at this shot. Um, so she put me in a Uber Black. That was pretty racist. She put me in a black truck. Uh, it was very comfortable. And I got to her yeah, house, mom, and mom. it was all the way, like, in a, it was like a hood. I swear to God, it was like a hood. <laughs> we gonna be beach. That was definitely, as we can go to the clips, where it, it got dangerous in there. <laughs> and You're not was, wrong. So. Bunny Marco, prize pick, scene two, take six. Prize picks. Any, any, blow up. You put up 100, you'll get 100. Oh, wow. So you're going to skip the black man's ass. Yeah, I know the interview will blow up like the way you Okay. Did, you know, no gambling sponsors yeah. over there. So humble. <laughs> Huh? So humble, continue. I didn't, because I was just, you know, just a conversation. And it was a time where I was ready to go. Did I tell you, did you know that? No. Oh. What? Yeah. What do you mean? It's like when I got to a certain point where I'm like, okay, like, I just felt unwelcome. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this video sucks. I'm gonna go back and watch the Drake one because that shit was funny as fuck. And I need to point out the genius of Drake. Comedy Drake or music Drake? Comedy Drake. I don't give a fuck about music Drake. Tell me when. Marking. You like that, eh, Zon? <laughs> Already. Hilarious and gay. You didn't think I knew about that. <clears throat> he already did like four funny things. Maybe you just have a crush on Drake. Nah, dude, I don't. Don't say that. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Really Good Podcast um, with your host, Bobby Altoff. Today, I'm... Oh, we can keep this regular vault. We can keep this regular speed because this interview is actually entertaining. I'm here with... Can you introduce yourself? Drake.
That's not your name. It, that is, is my middle name. Yeah. That's not your real name. That's my government name, middle name. Why would you go by that? What's your first name? My first name is Aubrey. Mm -hmm. You but, see where you go with that. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, my, I think my mom named me after a lawyer, which always kind of, like, rubbed me the wrong way. Because, like, I don't know, why would you just name me after, like, a a random lawyer unless, like, there was something else going on, you know? I was named after a cheerleader. Well, dad. your dad is definitely your dad. You can definitely say that. That was hot. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bobby? Yeah. It's an older name. My dad's old. <laughs> okay, but, like, for a fact, like, you've seen the girl or that's yeah, just Yeah, he showed story? me. No, he showed me the yearbook. Oh. Yeah. What year? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking. It's like. This is uh, my that interview. that sounds like a Justin, good Justin, goodbye. Like a mm -hmm. Good like excuse like or like a story like oh yeah I it, named you after a really hot cheerleader yeah. named Bobby. It was a, a hot topic for my mar my family's marriage. My mom didn't like that very much. Yeah, no, yeah. It definitely sounds a little. Like... He, but my other alternative name was Larry, L A R I. He thought it's really cute. If he's watching this right now, he'd tell you he thinks that's a really cute name. He stands by it to this day. Do you like that name? Larry? I just For a girl. Think if I said, hi, my name is Larry, what would you say? I just think that there's maybe a deeper conversation to be had within the family. Okay. Like the two options were Bobby and Larry. Yeah. And then just like slap an eye on the end and make it feminine. Mm -hmm. Your name is Aubrey. Yeah. So don't. But like, there's nothing. Okay, yeah. but my mom named me Aubrey, a guy's name. That's Aubrey's not a guy's name. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it Have is. Have you ever met a male Aubrey? Yeah, you're looking at him. So, yeah, I met myself. <laughs> like when he says this, right? Does he know that that's insane or no? I don't know. What do you think, Alan? I can't. When tell I met him. myself. Like I can't tell. Drake is so interesting to me because I can't tell when he's being serious and when he's not. I don't think he's being serious at all. Oh, you think he's, think he's fucking around the whole time? I do. Okay. I this is nothing to him. Okay, I hope so. Like, you don't even go by that because it's such a bad name. No, that's not true. It's just like... Why do you go by Drake? Because it's shorter. <laughs> Why did, you know what I'm saying? Why, like, did, why did he say shorter like that? Because it's shorter. <sighs> He's a diva, bro. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> why did he say it like that, though? You know, That's people who he is. Because it's shorter. <sighs> like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? And these are the little intricacies of Drake that fascinate me. Hey, less uh, successful than people with one. Sorry. Larry. I go by Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Aubrey. That's crazy. Aubrey. Yeah. Um. Don't. Yeah. What do you? I, I will say, watching this interview, after we realize that like she doesn't really understand comedy, it does kind of bum me out a little bit. Looking at. I don't know. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> I have ahead, a tattoo on my hand. Yeah. And I was just like thinking about it because it's just. <laughs> Starting to seem like Kamal is gay for Drake. Why can't I just appreciate somebody's talent without having to be about dicks? Hey, it can be right? platonic. Hey, hey. We can keep it PG. You might just love his embrace. They said he's I'm gay for him. How the fuck is that platonic? Interview, please. Well, hey. <laughs> because that's they didn't say I love him. They said I'm gay for him. Yeah. It's like a Now me y'all gotta be okay. banging. It's not like it, that's it's, all right. Hey, you can keep it clean. Yeah, I, this is a me thing. This is a my. Yeah. This is my fault. Yeah, you 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 making it worse than it is. Yeah, fuck all y'alls. <laughs> Why? Get all I'm saying is, when I'm playing Dragon's Dogma, I'm gonna fucking turn this around. I'm not interacting with any of you. I'm not fucking answering questions. I'm not saying shit. I'm playing it and I'm fucking <laughs> staying silent. When oh. does that shit come out? I think it comes out Friday. Still nightcap. I'm oh, working okay. hard. I'm I'm here. Like my life is stressful right now. <laughs> Another one. I'm sitting here right now with sweatpants on. Man, I think Drake just rizzed you down, bro. He rizzed me down? What does that mean? Yeah. 
He got you. Fuck. Don't do that. My to hair me. is tied. Got you with the riz, bro. And I have no makeup on. Don't do that to me. I see. I, I get. I get where you went. I get. Like I. I'm not I'm doing it to you. It's Drake. <laughs> Clearly, like, you. Does that make you feel any type of way? Well, I mean, you look great, but I feel like Ugh, I can't watch it. It's not the same. It's not the same. Once I realized <laughs> that she just literally doesn't understand comedy. After I watched that Rick Glassman interview, it was like it was over. I was like, damn. She just doesn't get it. Like at all. It's bad. I mean, clearly. We watching this uh, Mike Tyson fight? Oh, God. When is that shit? I have no idea. It's not for months, isn't it? I think so. But it's on Netflix. Oof. I'm good. I'm oh, 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 you don't see the champ back in action. I mean, obviously, I'm going to watch it, but, like, you know, it's just kind of sad. Like, who the fuck wants to watch a 57-year-old man fight? Unless he beats the shit out of Jake Paul, then it's the greatest thing of all time. But if Jake Paul wins, it's like, oh, come on, bro. We all just want to see Jake Paul lose because he's annoying. Really, we want to see Logan Paul get knocked out. At least I do. I've always found him to be more annoying. At least, like, Jake owns the fact that he's shitty, kind of. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Well, it's because you're fucking... Wrong. Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to see anything else. Oh, my God, my mom keeps texting me. Uh, 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 uh. Mom, he's 57. Get the facts straight. Uh, all right, I think we're going to end it there, people. We will be back Thursday. We have some videos planned. Isaiah will be on the stream. I want to work on this video a bit before I head to be it. Unless anybody, does anybody have anything they want to say before we end? Act quickly. Yes, quickly, quickly. Yes, Isaiah is the latter guy. That is the one. One and the same. Uh. This man said watch porn. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You have problems, man. You have real issues. No. Oh, shit. Okay, this might actually be interesting. George Jenko and, Je and Peterson? Ooh. The fucking dude from, uh, wait, wait, we might actually, it's from five days ago. This, oh my god, this guy's really on his right wing fucking thing, isn't he? Damn. Do you love Christ with all of your heart? Probably not. That's a hard stunt to pull off. So you could bring heaven here. Or hell. You are not where you think you are. And you are not talking to who you think you're talking to. If I'm not going to lie in front of my God, then I truly don't care to lie in front of you. No, I think that's some of the least foolish things you've said so far today. I don't even know how to take that. Is that like... <laughs> you're not getting control of my tongue. Slavery that you've walked into. You've put the shackles on your own hands. How many women can you stand? Let me tell you. <laughs> and that really changed me, and permanently. Uh, I'll be, I'll be answering. I don't hear well, or like see this shit. Oh, you can't hear it? No, I can't see it either. Hmm. You fool. I know it's because I use a different thing. I don't, I don't fucking want to watch this. All right, we're going to end it. I'll talk to you guys Thursday. We'll be back Thursday, probably around the same time. This stream was, uh, you know. This one was kind of mid, but we'll be back <laughs> with more entertaining <laughs> shit. Hey, oh, that's your fault. Fuck. Yeah, of course, I take full accountability. Um, also, I'm going to try to get that red pill guy on for Thursday. We'll see. I'm going to reach out to him. We'll see what he says. And, uh, yeah. Yes, I know, Mom. It's, I'm talking about I'm talking to Kylan. Thank you, though. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Stay safe. Have a great night. Don't do drugs.